In an Yo. age of stream there are personalities that seem to be born for it. Ludwig! Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> there are players with what the skills to I destroy say? everyone else on the server and look do. good while doing it. Come on, And then... There's Disguise Toast. You guys imagine if Toast coins were on our ears? <laughs> like, oh, holiday. Toast is one of streaming's biggest stars, but his path to stardom has been as awkward and endearing as the man himself. Hey, Google, play Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell by the CDC. Sure, play on Spotify. He realizes it's all ogre now. No oh time. my. <laughs> he may have started his career in Hearthstone, but Toast has become much bigger than any one game. He's one of the most beloved streamers out there, and this is his story. Hey, I'm so sorry, Scissors! I'm so sorry! Sometimes best face. His own face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before he was known as Disguise Toast, Jeremy Wang was born in Taipei, Taiwan. His family moved to Penang, get it, Malaysia get it, the within a year, and at age 12, his family immigrated to Ontario, Canada. And even though Toast already spoke English when he arrived, there were still some growing pains. Like if I make a mistake writing with my pencil, I'm like, hey, can I borrow some rubber? Someone will give me their rubber. But when I came to North America and I said, hey, you got rubber? People think I'm talking about condoms. Yeah, like slip on that rubber. In high school, he took up really? magic tricks as a way to be more personable. A rubber. But he quickly realized he liked the attention. And I eventually became known as the guy who does magic in my high school. And people will ask to see magic tricks when they see me. And it was essentially, it gave me the taste for uh, performance. He also programmed a flash That's game cool. called the Frustration Game that was posted on Newgrounds. The idea was simple. Keep your mouse cursor well, I inside played, I played the played before. Area. But Toast's creation actually took off and someone bought the rights to advertise in the game and host it on their website for a thousand dollars. And there were big YouTubers who found the game and did played who it. The, who the fuck did? Did, it must have been Rick from fucking Pawn Stars. A thousand bucks? Did everybody play this shit? And the fact that they were creating content based on his game was an eye-opening experience for him. Oh my god. We've got- I think we're gonna have to play a different game because this game is just stupid, bitch. It doesn't work! It doesn't work! It doesn't work! It doesn't work! <laughs> He's just it's bad. It's broken! But as he graduated and pondered his work options, Blizzard announced their Warcraft-themed card game, Hearthstone. And the game took off. Not only was it incredibly popular it with was fans, popular. but it also blew up on Twitch, yeah. where thousands of viewers tuned in to watch an emerging generation of streamers play the game non-stop. And Toast was addicted too. He watched the streamers experiment with Guys, different Guys, I watched type. script every night when I, when I would go to school and then started making his own Hearthstone content. I put it on my iPhone so 4S next to my bed and I go... paths that his education pointed him towards, he continued to produce content about the game and eventually chose the name Disguise Toast, a play on the intro line spoken by the SI7 agent card. <laughs> this Disguise guy's toast. toast. Then, in the summer of 2015, Toast took his content into the real world for the first time. He went to a tournament in Toronto, but since no one knew what he actually looked like, Toast had to come up with a creative solution. But no one really knew who I was. I never spoke in any of my videos, nor did I make any appearances. And since my logo was infinitely more recognizable than me, I decided to make a cardboard cutout of it and use that to take a picture with Crip. But after he was convinced to wear the mask on stream and combined with his weird personality and off-meta play, Toast became somewhat of a celebrity in the scene. Yeah, I can't wait to hear the finals tonight. With, yeah, or the finals I, 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 I would have... If I was hidden and nobody knew what I, what I looked like, I I would like... Uh, dude, I would think in the next level, just wear like a, like a ski mask under, dude, so nobody can see anything. 
You know? Sunday, at least, when those guys are banging those Thunder Six, it is going to be like 500 decibels in here. Oh, like a, like a no. full thing. He realizes it's all ogre now. No time. Oh my. No time. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I watch, there's a brilliant video. There's a channel called Disguised Toast, which is a it's a it's a play on the the whole like, yeah. this guy's toast huh? thing when you play the SI7 agent. He went to a tournament in a toast mask with a pair of uh, sunglasses. He won the whole f thing, but like, and he did this montage. He's on camera all the time, and he's doing expressive stuff. Like he pulls mm. off this move and he does the John Cena you can't see me thing <laughs> and he's just this kind of toast mask and Creparia's making a bunch of jokes about it. It's the best thing in the universe. Hearthstone was Twitch's latest obsession and disguised toast as he was now known was popping off. <laughs> okay. Toast began streaming on Twitch, but okay. like pretty much every other big streamer, he didn't show his face until eventually the illusion was shattered. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys just saw my face. Ah! No! While many of his fans tried to keep the secret, <laughs> a determined viewer posted the clip everywhere, including the live stream Vale's subreddit, where the clip got too many views to ignore. The internet finally saw the man beneath the mask, but rather than hurt him, Toast's popularity and stream only grew. Sometimes best face is own face. Mm -hmm. And Toast continued to expand his content too. He focused on strange decks, bizarre card interactions, and hitting Legend, the game's highest rank with a free-to-play deck, a real challenge in the notoriously pricey Hearthstone meta. That was pretty impressive. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I didn't think it was possible. That is pretty impressive. Free to play hunter. Yes, 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 yes. In early 2017, he even dipped his toes into competitive play as he entered a Hearthstone major at PAX East. He's picking it up, he's feeling it out. Yeah, thank you. Chat, oh. that's not still very competitive. Like, is there like tournaments and shit and people no. still play competitively? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that Toast with his banana grin. But on Sorry. day two of that tournament, Toast slept in so long that he got disqualified. But isn't just sleeping in bed much better? Have you ever just wanted to like, you know, you have to go to school or go to work. Damn, dude, that's relatable. Like, five, minutes. five minutes, bro. Five minutes. The disappointing end to his tournament didn't hurt his popularity, though. Toast was invited to the Bahamas as an influencer for the HCT Winter Championship in 2017. Guys, guys I did that at BlizzCon, dude. They had to send some staff, dude, and they had to, like, escort me, dude. And, like, rushing me through the crowds and shit. Like, yo, move out, move out, dude. And I was like, nah. dude, and I was peeing, and I was about to puke. It was so bad. And he streamed constantly. But later that year, Toast's Hearthstone career started to break down. He showcased an exploit on his stream that completely crashed the game, which Blizzard was not happy about. Right, <laughs> VIP. Oh my god! It's a monster! Half Mirage Caller, half Murloc Tiny Fin! Blizzard didn't like that Toast was popularizing a game breaking exploit and slapped him with a short ban from Hearthstone. I understand their concern. By doing a YouTube video on an exploit, thousands of people will see it and abuse it for themselves, which in turn will ruin a lot of games for innocent yes, people. Yes. This is a big, uh, this is a big debate in my opinion, chat, for for, for this type of thing, because it's kind of like, if if you don't popularize it, whatever, it doesn't get fixed, it doesn't get attention, and doing that gives it the anxiety attention that it needs to get fixed. Otherwise, it goes under the rug. So it's kind of like. Although Toast didn't immediately stop playing Hearthstone, there was no question that his relationship with Blizzard had soured. The whole. Ignoring all my messages and just ghosting me. You, you you report it and it doesn't film it. Yeah, if you if you were to report it, it, they're not gonna. Stuff, making me think that, you know, I was flying to California without even a courtesy. Oh, sorry, it's not happening. That made my relationship with Blizzard. Damn, terrible. dude. Absolutely terrible. 
But maybe Toast could see the writing. Tell me about it then. <laughs> he had grown immensely because of Hearthstone, but the game was no longer dominating Twitch as it once had. It was time for Toast to strike out on his own and once again do something completely different. So when he announced in the fall of 2017 that he would be joining the offline TV content house, it seemed like a natural fit. All right, guys, I'm proud to announce our newest offline TV house member, this guy's Toast. Oh my God! Finally, dude, he's on air. Oh my What's God. Isn't he uh, like a Hearthstone streamer? Like, what's Hearthstone? Uh, wait, wait, isn't that that cheap Yu-Gi-Oh knockoff? Like, oh, isn't that the isn't that the guy from? Oh my god! Like, we have so many Asian people. It's really ridiculous. Timmy, calm down. Is there anyone? And because of his entertaining personality, it didn't take too long for Toast to become an important piece of the offline TV content team, alongside huge names like Pokemon, Lily Peach, chat, chat. People at didn't want me to get my mouse back whenever I got fired, right? They want, they want me to go back to the office and get, get my stuff? Nah, nah, somebody will pick up, will pick up for you, right? And then, so I, I went anyway, because uh, I still have my card, right? And I, I, and I scanned through, and I, I went to get my stuff, and they're like, dude, what the fuck, dude? Dude, and it, it's, it's, it was so weird. Nice. Yeah. That's the kind of thing you say when you don't have anything. I think sure. they thought I was going to go crazy <laughs> and break everything. Can you imagine the phone rings were on our ears? It's a long story. <laughs> like, oh, how are they? Like, one's like, you're kind of attracted, but two's like, you're really attracted. Oh my god. So, do you have anyone to hold the, the camera for you while you go to the bathroom? <laughs> my plan is to just not go to the bathroom today. Or, if I want a vacation, you know, I've been feeling a little burnt out. If I want a vacation, I can just film the bathroom, right? Wait. So this is how I take uh -oh. seven days off without looking like I'm lazy. Where's the bathroom? I like Toast because... Give me a serious answer to me, man. Okay, sir, right? I like Toast because he's a really nice guy. <laughs> Toast became part of the upper crust of gaming content, and his success gave him another opportunity. In November of 2019, amid the rush for streaming platforms to lock down big names, he quickly inked a deal with Facebook Gaming. But once again, Toast bucked expectations. Instead of making some crazy announcement video, Toast took the production budget and put it towards a much more meaningful cause. We had 20K production budget, and I took that check, drove down to the Children Hospital of Los Angeles, and gave it to them. Because honestly, you guys don't really care how it's announced, you guys just care where I'm moving to. So, I'm moving to Facebook Gaming. Check me out there. Bye. As Toast left Hearthstone behind and experimented with other games, he quickly found himself at the forefront of yet another streaming craze, Among Us. Among oh Us! What did you know, Ninja? You didn't know shit! You don't know shit! Where's your left nut? Send it over to me! As the game exploded Jesus. in popularity, Toast's own weird brand of humor blended perfectly with the game's high intrigue antics. He There's been two sets of double he kills. You, he big brained you so hard, man. All right, he if he did, played. then I, he deserves it. He deserves <laughs> it. He deserves it. Yeah. He deserves it. That's, that's 11,647 IQ yeah, move there. I'm so sorry, Scissors. I'm so sorry. Put it on the thumbnail. So sorry. And his high profile in the game's community led to another huge chance. He played Among Us alongside US Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar in one of the biggest Twitch events of the year. Yeah, and oh, and, no, no, no. and famous Twitcher XQ Cow. Well, fuck it. Oh. The other imposter. Okay. Do it. Do it. Oh. <laughs> How do I get in there? <gasps> Crack snack. Alright, so AOC has found the body. Since then, Toast has continued to focus on Among Us, and his IQ has steadily climbed, becoming perhaps the most intelligent human being alive if his YouTube titles are accurate. And since Facebook gaming really is specifically focused on video games, he's even been able to show up on his own Twitch channel now and again. Did Santa give you what you wanted this year? What do you want for Christmas, Toast? Ah, uh, I mean, it's too late. Anyone who was gonna give me a gift has given me a gift. Wait, Santa's real. What did you want? Did you check under the Christmas tree today? No, not yet. Don't you worry, Tess. I'm sure Santa got you what you wanted. To go from a three-year math degree to one of the most popular streamers on the what planet is, that VR is one hell of a What, a phone in it? And Toast 
did it his way with his signature no, sense of humor, it. penchant for the weird, and briefly, a mask that looked Half like a, a piece of Longer toast. Any Anyone want to buy my underwear? 50 bucks per pair of undies. 100 if you want me to fart in it beforehand. Ooh, 1,000 bits from Spice. You get an underwear. For 100 bits, that's not worth it. You lose value. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, that was still pretty good though. Thank yeah. Yes, I actually enjoyed it. I didn't think we watched the whole thing, but I, I kinda get interested. Not bad.